I watch a bit of YouTube, uh, and YouTube knows me well. So it often recommends, or in fact I've subscribed to, a channel called Missionary Bush Pilot, where a guy called Ryan flies around Papua New Guinea. And his preparation is meticulous, and his execution of his work is meticulous, and what I really admire about it is his ability to keep talking while he's, uh, while he's doing his work, whereas my stuff's mostly ums and ahs. But anyway, um, what he does... As part of his pre-flight, is he has this panel with, I think, eight switches on it. And uh, the switches are either on or off. So I guess that's like ones and zeros. So I guess at the start, they're all zero, as in pre-flight checklist not complete. And he seems to flick them from, from left to right as they're complete. And that, uh, that works. So in the end, he's got his switches which have been connected up according to his checklist. And he flicks them up, actually, as he flicks them. And then that says that, uh, you know, that tells him, I guess, that we're right to take off. Now, but the look of it, it doesn't look as though they've got any LEDs attached to it. So I was thinking about how could you connect these up in such a way that you were, you know, you had your switches and at the end uh, some LED went off and said, you know what, you, you're good to go. So um, what I was thinking about was a an AND gate. So if you look at an AND gate, symbol this, and if you look at just a couple of these, let's call this one A and B, then what you've got is A, B and A and B and we've got a possibility of switches are off and therefore we don't want a green light on. We've got one switch on and one switch off, still no green light. Then we've got one on, one off, no green light. And finally we've got both switches have been flicked, so that's green light scenario. Now that works well for two lights, but what about if you had more? Well. I've got a chip that just come in called the CD4073 and it is a three input AND gate. So it looks a little bit like this. And what we've got is if we were to have another one up here, A, B, C, we've got a truth table, put it up here actually, so we've got A, B, C and then A and B and C. So we've got no switches thrown, that's a problem. Then we've got one switch thrown, doesn't matter which one. We've still got two that aren't thrown, so that's a problem. Then we could have two switches thrown, and that's still an issue because one's open. But finally, we have all switches are good, and therefore we get a light. So this is a scenario that we're looking for. Now our CD4073 has seven pins on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on this side. Uh, we've got ground, VCC, and then we've got various inputs and outputs. So if we just look at this side, we have input, 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 and out. And then we've got, on this side, we've got input, 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 and out. And then we've got, let's go red. So we've got input, 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 and out. So if we can match these up, I think we can get seven of these switches hooked up. Uh, we could do eight, of course, with another one of these, but this is just proof of concept. We're not actually trying to recreate Ryan's checklist for him. So what we do is have A, B, C coming here. And then we could have D, E, and F coming in here. And then we could feed one of these uh, AND gates to the other side, let's say, to here. This is going to look a little bit ugly. And one to here, and then we would have G coming in here 
and then the final output would be from this one here. So I'm just going to have a play around with a circuit which is similar because what I'd also like is not just a green light when we're ready to go but a nice visual red light when we're not ready to go. So uh, I'll mock that up on a simulator and then we'll build it and see if it works. So here's a simpler version of the circuit using two-way AND gates. I've got two switches coming in on the top, AND gate two on the bottom, and both of those feeding off to the third one in the middle. And when I close the circuit, you can see that uh, because those AND gates are open, that middle AND gate has got an actual signal of zero coming out or low. And using a transistor, I've just made that into a knot gate so that we can have uh, a red LED saying that basically all of those switches are open. So that's what's happening there. Now as we start to close these, what we'll see is that two switches closed, that's still a, a, a red light, but when we close the last two, uh, we now have that middle AND gate producing a high or a one. That activates the transistor on the side here. This is an NPN, and that means that uh, we have a flow through the LED at the top, which is a green, uh, and that means that uh, if this is being used as a circuit to show that all those switches are closed, then that's what uh, happens. We could feed that uh, signal onto anywhere, but at the moment it's just switching a green LED. As soon as you open one of those switches up, then it goes back to the red LED, and uh, and that's that's sort of proof that this type of circuit will work. Now I just breadboard it up, and uh, we'll try it in real life. So here's the circuit on a breadboard. It's not complete as yet, but uh, we've got our CD4073 on the end here. Uh, I've got three of the inputs connected up at the moment uh, to switches. And uh, we've got a 1K resistor array here. So we've got a common VCC going through 1K. So that should give us 5 volts or whatever voltage we put through, really. Uh, coming through if the switch is on, that should overcome the 100K pull-down resistors that I've got. Uh, and that should be the input going to high or 1. And on this side, uh, I've got firstly... Um, we've got a 1K resistor, so I'm going to have to connect this up to output. I guess it'll be the output on this side eventually. Uh, 1K coming in, a 10K pull-down resistor, and then that is the gate for this SS8050. And it's set up uh, to be a NOT gate. So we've got um, VCC coming in uh, to the collector, and then we've got this going out uh, at the bottom here. So the idea is if there's a zero signal coming in, uh, then this will be a one signal uh, coming out. But then as soon as this is a one signal at the bottom here, uh, then we actually, this will uh, just flow through from our VCC to our ground and this red light will go out. On the other hand, continue it through via this orange one. And again, we've got 1K to, to the um, base and we've got 10K pull down. Uh, then this uh, SS8050, this is an NPN uh, uh, BJT transistor that will switch this on and this time we're coming the other way so this is connected up to the um, VCC uh, and then flows through here and down to ground on the other side so uh, if we're getting a one signal indicating that all of these switches are on then that should be green light and good to go. So I'm just going to put a few more 100k uh, pull up resistors on this side, make a few connections and then we'll test the circuit. So here's our circuit breadboarded up. Uh, I've added all of the pull down resistors, 100K pull down resistors for each of the inputs. Um, and so let's just go through. So switch one, two, and three are connected up to this side of the IC. And uh, then we've got the output from that going to the three input AND gate on the other side. And if you have a look at the next three switches, which I've color coded here to be white, I've got two on this side and one on this side with the output yellow going from uh, the output of that three input AND gate to the uh, final AND gate as well. 
So if all these first three switches are on, then there's a one that goes to this AND gate. If all these three switches are on, then there's um, a, a one signal going to the final AND gate. And then we've got, I guess rather dramatically, the last switch here, which is number seven here, coming in as well. Uh, so if there's no signal coming out of all of that, so in other words, one, of, one or all of these uh, switches are off, then the NOT gate should make this red light go on. So let's just test that. So we'll put in six volts or thereabouts coming in, 5.8, and uh, we do indeed have a signal saying that there's a problem. So what we'll now do is we'll just um, simulate going through each of those switches and turning them on. So this is our pre-flight check. So that's electro-trimodulator, that's the flux capacitor and so forth. So number four, five, six and our final switch is seven and you can see there that the um, red light has gone out and the green light has gone on and we're good to go and if any of those conditions changes so switch number three for instance then we switch from ready to go to there's a problem and then back to ready to go so that's the circuit working and uh, that's how you might use a, uh, an AND gate to indicate if a, a checklist has been completed or not. See you next time. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not with him, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But what about us? We'll always have Paris.